Our son Bowden was born in September 2021 with a very rare condition called CCHS. So put simply, he doesn't actually breathe when he's asleep, which is his sort of the most drastic uh, area that's been affected by this and is the most common affected area by this genetic condition. 80 or 90% of children with CCHS have um, tracheostomies. It's a more efficient way of uh, ventilation when they have quite severe CCHS. So they reckon there's around 150 cases in the UK, um, but obviously a lot more worldwide. Experts believe there could be a significant number of infants with CCHS that sadly die without being diagnosed as well. Um, I mean, the genetic testing itself has only been around for the last few years, and um, there's, there's some theories that actually what was known as cot death is potentially related to CCHS. Implications of having a tracheostomy whilst it's better for ventilation is he can't vocalise properly um, because the vocal cords sit higher than where your air expiration is when you have a tracheostomy. It's incredibly unsafe to go in the bath or swimming. If you simply get water in, in your tracheostomy, it's directly into your lungs and you will drown instantly. So we are hoping one day with the support of Keep Me Breathing that we can eventually get rid of that tracheostomy and um, actually hear his voice properly. He says small things, he makes babbles, but he's never laughed or cried if he's upset or if he's hurt. You don't know unless you're watching his face. Bo has around the clock care. He was in hospital for his first nine months of his life. Also because he was so premature, his lungs were in a very bad way. We were told to say goodbye twice in his first two weeks. Pneumonia and double lung collapse. We were practically begging for him to have a tracheostomy when he was finally three kilos. Obviously quite a major surgery and quite traumatic going through it. It happened only a few days before Christmas 2021. He has 12 hour night at home. Overnight somebody awake in his room, seven till seven. And then to go to nursery, he has two people. Because he has a tracheostomy, that is two people to care for him. So that is a fully trained nurse and a carer. I'm obviously his full-time carer. I don't have the capacity to work, but his admin is full-time, that it takes both of us to do his admin anyway. So all these people need to be highly trained and it's not very easy to find carers who are tracheostomy trained. It's quite tricky and also we've had a couple fall asleep, unfortunately, which it was obviously incredibly dangerous. Keep Me Breathing was set up by James and Steph in Hove. They found out about us because it, obviously it's so rare to have this condition, yet there's three of us under the Brighton Hospital. I saw they had started the charity on um, the CCHS Family UK page. I think this within maybe only a month or two of the charity actually being formed. So they said, would I like to be a trustee, which is incredible. So we've pretty much been involved right since the beginning, haven't we? We are building the first specific treatment for people with CCHS. The technology for this medical device already exists. However, the investment isn't there. We are working with and funding a team of scientists and medical engineers for the support of a five-year product development plan designed by Cambridge University. Within five years, the plan is to bring a new technology to market. The device will be implanted into the diaphragm to stimulate natural breathing to replace the need for a ventilator and in most cases a tracheostomy. So we have a lot of work still to do but there are families all around the world counting on us to transform their lives so we're looking at ways to raise more funds and generate interest and awareness in what we're doing.